Okay, so apparently anytime anyone even goes next to Takashi 69 mentions him, spends any time with him, or has anything to do with him, it upsets my son. I <laughs> can't script this. Fall in love with healing yourself. CBD. BBN Jack Frost Mike. What's up party people I right, so Yeah So Apparently Whack 100 and my son has some kind of friction and or beef now before we go any further I do want to say that I already did a video. It's about something. Uh, it's about this particular uh, topic I already did a video. Uh, Y'all gonna have to wait for YouTube to uh, Go over the video apparently because they said that it wasn't monetizable apparently So we're gonna have to wait for YouTube to go over the video and then I'm going to uh, then upload the video I'm have to make a couple of changes I guess I don't know but that video is supposed to be before this one I just want to make that be I just want to make that clear that video is actually before this one but it's gonna come after now with that being said my son and whack 100 is going at it on Instagram and I'm just gonna be honest with you I do not have anything at all against my son I love the fact that him and Queen Tamika Mallory and the rest of the team is fighting for our rights in America and beyond. I love this. So this is in no way an indictment on this particular individual. This might just be something that I don't see eye to eye with him on. Um, the everything involving around this particular situation. And there's a reason why I don't see eye to eye with him on this step. It's not that I think that he's necessarily wrong. I just think that him himself being who he is, there's certain messages that he should be giving out. I don't believe that this is one of those messages that he should be giving out in its entirety. I'm not saying the entire message is incorrect and or wrong. I'm just saying that there's certain things that we're not supposed to let go. Now with that being said, there was a post on Instagram. I'm gonna tell you what the post says as it goes. My son says, the difference between me and you is integrity. Snitching is about integrity and self-honor, not criminality. One, I'm gonna 100% agree with him on this. I'm 100% behind uh, my son on this. There's nothing that I think that he said incorrect in this particular st sentence. The difference between, uh, pardon me, uh, snitching is about integrity. It's not about uh, criminality. But I just want to say something. The literal act of being a criminal nine times out of ten means that you are doing something that lacks integrity. So this is the problem that I have with some of the things that my son says. Um do you get it anyway so uh but what he said is not incorrect i mean if snitching is definitely a lack of integrity um and snitching has zero to do with criminality i agree with that he says uh then he goes on to say when you have enough honor to deal with the consequences you don't snitch um once again if you're an honorable person you're probably not committing crimes but i mean i get what he's saying then he goes on to say um it's no honor Wait, pardon me. Snitching is only way is only the way of the weak to get over. Uh, once again, many crimes are crimes of taking from another person because you don't have, which is a weakness in itself. I'm gonna have to say. So once again, most many crimes, if not all crimes, I'm saying specifically, but many crimes, in my opinion, are committed because the individual is a weak person and they need to commit the crime for whatever their reasons are so you get what i'm saying do you understand what my problem with my son is um your crowd you're a coward he's, he's talking to uh 
Oh, let me rewind. He says, especially when you return to society with the same fake gangster personality and activities. I agree. Takashi Six Nine need to stop being the image that he has. That that I don't know what to say. I I, just, I think that he's outgrown that. I think it's went as far as it can go. I can't say he's outgrown it. Let me stop. But I think it's went as far as it can go. And especially with the situation that he was in. Uh, I don't think that he can come out anymore and make that type of music. But if he can't make that type of music, that means his whole discography that he currently has is out the door. So he has his own problem and his own issue. So I'm not mad at him for continuing to make the music in which he makes. I'm just saying I understand what my son is saying. And I also agree with my son on this point. Then he goes on to say, uh, you're a coward and anyone who attaches them to themselves to you are cloud chasers. A men or women of low integrity. See, this is the problem I have with my son. My son, not everybody is criminal. If you are, I'm just, I just want to point this out. If you are not a street dude, if you are not a criminal, and the other person did something that like snitching, but you're not a criminal, you're not a street dude, you don't, it, you have no reason to not deal with the individual. Like, you're not a criminal. You're, you're not a street person. You have no reason to not deal with a person because the person is a snitch. Now, you can choose not to deal with them. That's on you. But I, I don't. it's hard for me to explain this, but what do you think happens when you have an individual who's, you think, what do you think? If somebody's a whole billionaire, you're trying to tell me you wouldn't do business with their company? If it's if you found out that Jeff Bezos, I'm not saying he snitched on anything. I mean, what the fuck? He's so rich. What the fuck he has to snitch for? But let's say we found out he snitched on somebody 30 years ago. And let's say Jeff Bezos decided to pull up on you and give you a billion dollars. I mean, I know this is all <laughs> whataboutisms and shit. But the point at which I'm trying to make is you do not not do business with people in the real world, in the workforce, in the business world. I guess that's the best way to put it. Because they snitched or they didn't snitch. That's crazy. Oh, man. Anyway. Uh, 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 he says you're a coward and everyone who attaches themselves. I, I just don't agree with that. He says you want to save these kids' lives. Tell them to stay out the streets. I agree. Because the consequences are life in prison or death. I agree. But do you understand that my son just argued the entire... Every single thing that he said before he said that basically was... Commit crimes and don't snitch on each other. And now he's saying, tell the kid, I don't got time for this. Look, I, you just go watch the post yourself. I, this is just, it's fucking my brain up. I'm not going to, I'm going to try to finish this. I, uh, man, I'm going to try to finish this. Let's keep going. Um, uh, You want to save these kids' lives, tell them to stay out the streets because the consequences of life are death in prison and death. Could somebody please tell this to my son's Instagram? Because my son's Instagram is usually talking about just don't snitch on niggas you commit crimes with. He rarely ever says don't commit crimes. So could somebody please tell this to Instagram, my son? Anyway, he goes on to say, don't promote the rat who did all the dirt and weaseled out of the consequences is actually giving these kids a false reality. Not don't commit crimes. <laughs> Do you want, oh man. It's only a few of us left. I still know what I... Anyway, so Wack 100 goes on. And he commented under this post. Wack 100... I don't understand this. Can somebody tell me, like, am I wrong for... Th I don't understand this. Wack 100 goes on to say, my, my N-word, I just gave you a pass. I have no idea what Wack is talking about. He just says stuff. He says, you was just replying to my comrade, and he, he tags blue underscore um, LBC. He says, that nor me and Wack was good when you was it was some friction i don't know he says i left it alone but if that's how we playing cool you had none of this energy just a week ago laugh out loud wow supposed to be huh yo ass promising was camera i don't know whack needs to get his english together um i i don't know i have made so many videos on here talking about whack is a widow <laughs> I mean, I like Wack 100. I like my song too. But I've made a ton of videos on this channel. Here's a Wack 100 playlist. Go to it. I made a ton of videos on this channel pointing out shit that Wack did that was weirdo shit, just so we could be clear. So I don't want nobody to think, oh man, you just taking Wack 100's side on this. I am not taking nobody's side. 
I just personally think WAC 100 has the... How are we telling grown men what they can and can't do? Like, this shit is crazy. Like, we're literally living in a world where we got one grown man telling another grown man what they can and can't do. And if they don't do what they want them to do, they're going to try to... They're going to try to... You can't get them canceled. Grown men. This shit is retarded. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think about this. I have to go to go to my son's post. Go under whack. I have no idea. I, I I think what whack is trying to say is is that he gave my son a pass. I don't know what that's about. I don't see how he gave my son a pass, one way or the other. I personally don't think whack one hundred want to go hand in hand with my son just to keep it a stack. Um, I doubt that he does. I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen my son fight. I saw whack one hundred fight. He did a pretty decent job against those two guys. Um, he did what you were supposed to do. You getting jumped, you always move backwards for the most part, uh, you, you, so so you don't get cornered. So he did a good deal on that. Uh, he did hit the dude, dropped him, bloodied him up. So he did a good job. Let's not get confused. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know about this. I, I hope neither one of these guys. I hope they come to this. I hope this is just an argument thing, not for nothing. So let's hope. Um, also, uh, just so we can be clear. My son responded back to Wax's initial post. He says, you gave me a pass. Laugh out. He's laughing. He said, y'all dudes is crazy. I told him like I tell everybody else. Wax just be talking on Instagram. He agreed. Which Wax just be doing. If he told me something else, he if he told you something else, he lied. You got me effed up. My energy don't change. He never gave me the impression that he was on anything, but okay. So, we'll see what happened to that. But I'm going to tell y'all something. For all of these people that are mad that people promote 6 9 don't nobody promote that guy more than the people that hate him. Let whack, I, like, the people that hate him promote him more than anybody else. Like, this shit is crazy at this point. I don't know what to tell y'all. Anyway, put it down in the comment section. I want to know what y'all guys think about this. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Boomers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I get on this one. I'm out. From the concrete jungle to that nightclub where you took off all of your clothes because it got too hot in there. Gorilla Edibles, eat your high. I knew two days ago what I knew right now, I wouldn't even be in this shit.